What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And hopefully this is one of my shortest videos ever. Like, seriously. This video is so simple. So what you're going to want to do is... Well, let me show you real quick before we do this. We'll go to settings. And you remember how I did the video on how to flash 4.3 without getting the new bootloader? So you can downgrade back to MC2. You don't have Nox. You don't trip Nox by rooting and etc. So um, under about device here... You'll see that we are on build MK4, but our baseband is MC2. Hopefully you can see that. MC2. Mary Charlie 2. So we're going to go ahead and fix that by powering the phone off. And then when it's off, we're going to hold the volume up, the home button, and the power button down. And we're going to keep holding it until we see our custom recovery. You have to have a custom recovery. You can download recovery tools from the Google Play Store and flash whatever recovery you prefer. In this video, we're just going to be using Phil's recovery because um, Twerp doesn't like to work with 4.3 ROMs on Samsung phones. So we're using Phil's. Um, I like Twerp better, but again, I need a recovery that works, and this works. So uh, it's so it's so simple. Install Zip. Uh, if you put it on your SD card, choose your SD card. If you put it on your internal or your micro SD card, choose SD card 1. And then when it pops up here, we're going to go down here and you'll see cyanide or C-Y-A-N-M-I-D-E zip. And then you'll just press yes, install. It's a ROM installer. And usually I hate them, but this is a very well played <laughs> a ROM installer. So we'll hit next and then agree, and then next, and then, um, this is pretty cool, uh, this is not how to flash recovery, but you can flash Clockwork Mod Touch, you can, uh, flash Fills, which is what we're on right now, you could flash Twerp, or a stock, so that's pretty cool, but what we're gonna do in this video, is we're gonna go to modem installation, and then look at this, MK4, this is the one we have right here, MC2, this is the build that we're on, so now our baseband, which is our radio, this is how you're going to make text messages, um, use 3G, 4G, uh, LTE, make phone calls, etc. So this is a pretty big important thing to update. So you'll just hit next. It only takes like seconds. That's what it did for me. So we'll hit next and then finish. And now our phone's going to reboot, and when it does, we're going to go to the About phone and make sure that our baseband now matches our build. I mean, baseband's pretty important. Whenever there's an update, I recommend flashing it. This should give you better reception because it's updating the radios, what your phone uses to communicate with the outside world. <laughs> so, it's always good to have the latest one. So, Unlock, Menu, Settings and then more, and then about phone, and then look at that, MK4, Mary Kilo 4, <laughs> that's pretty freaking dope, we now have the newest baseband, and we also have, uh, we have a baseband that matches our build, so that's pretty dope, if this video helped you out, Please give it a thumbs up. I told you guys that I would do a video on how to update the baseband because I did not know how to at the time. So, and here it is. I just did it. So, you know, I came through my word. So, again, please give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It's just a small click, but it goes a long way. Trust me. It lets me know you enjoyed the video and you want to see more videos like this. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. That's where you're going to learn um, about upcoming videos the most. Lots and lots of awesome things coming in 2014. And if you're not following me on Twitter, you're going to miss a lot of them. And also, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button as it'll notify you of future videos on the Galaxy Note 2, Note 3, maybe the Note 4 if I decide to get it, which I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, this is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.